Well, hello there. This is Gary Poo. And I would play, thought I would play Show and Tell Buds tonight. And I just got back from the store. I went to uh, a Goodwill store today. And um, I bought this TV over here, actually, a little white Sony Trinitron 9 inch TV. But first, I thought I would show you this one. This one I bought last April. This is a um, Admiral 13 inch um, VCR combo. And um, I found this really nice shape, by the way. This uh, has a very sharp, bright picture. I don't think this is a very high hour set that I can think of. But these TV um, VCR combos, there's a few of them out there, but usually the VCRs always seem to be the first to go before the TV does. So this one works beautifully. Um, really nice shape. There's a few little scratches here and there, nothing too bad, but for the most part, it's in really, 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 really nice shape. You know, you have the top and everything is clean. And um, I even left the original um, price tag on there. And I think I only paid $6.99 for it. And they originally wanted $12.99, so I thought, yeah, it's not a bad price. It was missing the remote though, so I had to buy a remote on eBay. I found the original remote for seven dollars with free shipping, so I thought, oh, why not? I'd still like to have the original one. So this TV actually was sold by Montgomery Ward, and I guess they used to sell the Admiral name back then. Um, it was manufactured in Thailand, I think, so we could look at the back. Um, but overall, it's really really in nice shape a little dusty but nothing too bad and uh this is the back and then um, we'll look at the uh thing right here on the back manufactured for montgomery ward company and i think the manufacturing date is on i think oops excuse me uh yeah march of 1999 and I do believe this thing said it was made in Thailand, if I remember. Yeah, made in Thailand. Um, so, yeah, one of the earlier TVs. Um, this TV is actually manufactured by a company called Orion. Um, and it went under the Orion name, and I think also Emerson. So it's kind of out of focus there. There we go. I'm using my... Galaxy Note 4 this is my camera. Um, I do have a dedicated video cam, but it does the banding a little bit on the video, and I'm not that impressed with it. This actually does a better job on my phone. So, um, yeah, I just thought I'd show that to you. And, um, yeah, so, and I bought, bought a few movies. Um, I got this uh, old movie with uh, Cary Grant and Doris Day. And uh, this is called That Touch of Mink. And uh, I love these old movies. And I thought, yeah, why not try that out? So I have this plugged in. So I'm going to show you how this thing works. Might get some glare from the... I have the LED on. So I might get a little bit of glare. But we'll turn this thing on. And uh, let it warm up a little bit. There we go. So now we have a picture. And we'll stick this tape in here. And the tape deck works great. It's just amazing. Like, I use this TV a lot for old VHS. And I really like, I like the old VHS uh, format. I can get my fingers out of the way. I wonder if I could just kind of spit out that. I don't know what I'm doing here. Yeah, I was gonna kind of stick my finger in there, cover up the light without covering up the lens. And uh, there we have a picture there. So, and uh, we got a really nice bright color picture. So I'm pretty impressed with this TV. It really, really works really well. So I'm pretty excited I got this TV. There he is, Mr. Grant himself. 
really, really awesome. So, anyway, that's how that works. Now, this does all remote only because it only has stop and play. It doesn't have rewind and fast forward, so I had to get the remote to be able to do the fast forwarding and all that fun stuff. So, that's the uh, Admiral TV that I've bought last April. So, I'm pretty, pretty excited about that. Now, this I bought today. I have actually two of these TVs. It's almost the same model. My other TV is a little newer than this one. This one, actually, you can adjust the brightness and control. If I turn this around, you can see down here we have all the contrast and the... Oh, yeah, we got your picture, hue, color, and brightness. So it's all manual on this one. This thing's pretty dirty. I just got this today. It's pretty gross. It looks like it, it was used in a harsh environment or something. I don't know if it was people smoked or not. It doesn't smell like smoke. But um, anyway, it powers up and the picture tube works. I have another one like this, a little bit newer. I think it was manufactured in 1999 as well. This one was manufactured in, I think, 90, 94, it said on the back. Maybe the other one might be 93. No, no, it's newer than this one. I know that. Because the other one requires a remote control to get to the on-screen menus, which I don't have the original remote for that one as well. And this one, of course, I don't, but I can still make some fine adjustments. Um, but it's, uh, it has the original antenna and I do have one of those converter boxes if I want to. And let's look at the model number on that. That's a KV SPT40. And this was actually manufactured in Japan. And I don't remember my other one, I think is might've been manufactured in... I don't know if it was in Korea or somewhere else. I forget where else they did their manufacturing at the time. I, I can't remember off the top of my head. But uh, this TV actually works. Let's see if we get this rubber band off here. I'll be right back. I'm going to pause this for a minute. Okay, I'm back again. Um, I just had to pause it because the rubber band was a little hard to get off. These have the curly Q cords, and so did the other TV I have like this. The other TV has a little bit different shaped back on it, but almost the same size tube. So let's plug this thing in. Let's see where's the, uh, well, it's a polarized plug. So we'll just dump that in there. Turn this around. Now I got one of these little gaming systems to kind of demonstrate this thing and see how it works. And we'll just turn this thing around and we'll look at the back. And we can plug this thing in for the audio. And then we have the video in, which is really nice. And I've been trying to snag these TVs up because they're getting harder and harder to find, especially the Sony portables like this. And they, they're just great TVs. I really love these. They have really, really nice um, picture quality. There we go. Turn that on. And this does power up because I tested it at the store today and I paid $3.99 for it. Which I thought was an excellent deal. Alright, so we have video. Okay, let's turn this little beast on. There we go. Got the TV going. Let me get my finger out of the way. And then we'll cover up that. And then we'll see if we can get this to... Yeah, there we go. And, uh, well, just leave that on there like that. So, yeah, so we have the CRT going. It looks really good. Still has a really good bright picture on it. I'd probably adjust the brightness. Oh, yeah, there's the, oh, that's the color. Okay, oh, there's the brightness. So we can turn the brightness off. And there's that. Oh, yeah, we can really adjust the the contrast, the hue, and there we go. Yeah, we can do a lot of changes there. So that's all manual on the side, which is nice. So and there's your color, brightness, and 
There's our uh, tent to change the reds and the pinks and the blues. So in all reality, not, not a bad TV. Still has a very, very, very good picture on it. Doesn't look bad. Let's see what we have here. Yeah, we got some games here. Galaga. Okay, fire. Fire. There we go. So, yeah, that, there we go. We got the uh, Sony TV going here. So, yeah, I thought I'd do a boring video to show you my toys. And um, But, yeah, I like these TVs. I like always like the picture quality. It's just really, really nice. I'm going to have to clean this up, though. It's pretty gross. Even the bottom of this just looks really bad. It's, like, really black under there, if you can see that. It just looks, uh, I don't know. It must have been in somebody's RV or something. Um, but I don't know what they had, kind of environment it was in, but the cabinet's not cracked, so that was the main thing. And I got it to clean up really, really good. I might even take the back off this thing and look inside, thinking about it. I'm not really worried about it too much, but it definitely will clean up and look good. So yeah, there you go. Still got a really good picture, and these things go on strong forever, a lot longer than any of the new TVs would. A lot of the new flat panels. My roommate has a 47-inch uh, Samsung TV he's had for seven plus years, and the power supply went out in it already. And this thing is manufactured in '94 and still going strong. So it just shows you how long these TVs can be around if you take good care of them; they'll last forever. It's amazing. Anyway, well, I just thought I would show you that. I like my little CRT TVs. I like to collect them when I can. Um, so anyway, thanks for watching and, um, uh, maybe I'll do another, um, silly video later on some more goofy electronics that I collect at the thrift stores. All right. Well, I guess I'll, we'll go now. Bye-bye.